Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is the first Monday of May, May 2nd. And the great weather is slowly creeping in. And I hope everyone's having a great morning. Before I get into the video today, I'd like to, everyone to, if you like this video, to give me a big fat thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you're new, introduce yourself. Let me know where you're from. It would be great to have you join our community, and you can do that by tapping on the icon bell, and you will get all of my latest videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on flash food. Now, I know that I've done a couple of um, little reviews over the last few weeks, and they were all positive. However, um... I had a few issues the last couple of times that I ordered produce from there. And um, I just wanted to let everyone have a heads up and know what's going on and know that you can get a refund if you need to. So this is what happened. Um, last week, I did order two vegetable boxes. And I ended up throwing away a lot of um, I think it was tomatoes, mostly tomatoes at that point. Some of them actually had mold on them. And I was very surprised because that hadn't happened to me before. So I thought it was a one-time thing. So I threw them out. Um, yesterday I went to pick up two vegetable boxes um, and I was looking at them in the store, and I said to the, the woman who helped me get the boxes out, I said, I just want to go through them and make sure that they're correct. Well, one of the boxes was missing some of the items that they had taken a picture of and that they showed me, and um, it wasn't quite as full, and it didn't have what was portrayed to have. So she says, no problem, you know, I can, you know, you can, we can swap it out. I said, okay. I go to open another box and it was a couple of peppers and some tomatoes. Every single tomato in there was wrinkled up, leaking. It was so wet and, and nasty. And a couple of them had mold on them and a couple of them had soft spots on them. So I told her, I said, I really don't want this. And she says, well, she says, we can give you a, a refund. So I, I was thrilled that they did. And um, it is up to each store. They're not obligated to do it for you. Um, I guess Flash Food doesn't require them to. But this particular stop and shop did. And that said a lot to me about their integrity. And I was I was very happy that they did that. Um, however... I noticed that there is one store near me that I get, it's a stop and shop, and I do get some um, fruit and vegetable boxes from there periodically. They seem to have better produce than this other stop and shop. So this may be something that is just, um, just has to do with the store and how they handle things. Um, but that being said, it is imperative that you are very, very careful. If you go to pick up a produce box, check the contents of it. Number one, you want to make sure that it is what you ordered and that they didn't take stuff out or, you know, add stuff or that the stuff is in good shape. And you want to make sure that nothing has really rotted. Okay, that's number one with the produce. I have not bought any meat per se. One time when I was there, they did have a name brand of Italian sausage that, I mean, it had over a week until it expired. And I tried it and it was really good. Um, as a matter of fact, they were, low, they were giving me my boxes of produce and I saw the Italian sausage there. And I asked them if I could go on the app right in front of them and, and buy it because it looked really good. And they said yes. So I, I bought one package there. Um, in one of my boxes, I was supposed to get some ground beef. 
at this point because I didn't know how flash food, you know, the food worked. And um, I went to, the girl's going to put it in a bag for me and there was a black spot on it, like black. And she goes, ooh, this is gross. She said, if you want another one, you can go get a fresh one, um, which I did. I went over to the meat counter and got a fresh one. Bottom line is you need to really go over these items. You need to make sure that they're safe. I did have some apples put aside that I was going to dehydrate. And I figured today I wanted to have a, a like a whole apple. I haven't dehydrated them yet. I wanted to have a whole apple with my breakfast. I, um, I cut it up. I went to take a bite. And it tasted moldy. It had a mildew moldy taste um and I tried a pear and the same thing happened with the pear so I had to toss them and also I went to try uh, this was last week I thought it was maybe it was just me I um cut up some cucumbers that I bought and I went to munch on them and they didn't taste right but I didn't know what it was so I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, okay, I want to make sure it's not a zucchini. I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about um, if I do, you know, have an issue. Um, but no, it was a cucumber and it was nasty. So I had three cucumbers I had to throw away, a lot of tomatoes. I had to throw away about seven apples, two pears. And yesterday I had to get a refund on two boxes. So the purpose of this video is just to retract some of what I said. Um, when I did make previous videos on the flash food and, and how it worked and how great it was, I really was, at that time, having a good experience. It was brand new. Not too many people knew about it. And it's my feeling that now they're a little more established and they really don't they're not putting the effort in. They're not as diligent with the quality as they were when they first started in my state. So it's it's probably individual to each state. It could be each store. Um, so just for your own benefit so that you're not wasting more money and more gas to go get the items. And you're trying to be frugal and feed your family and prices are through the roof. The last thing you want to do is have food that you need to throw out or something that wasn't, you know, like if you missed a spot on a mold spot or something and you ate it anyway and you, I don't know, if you get sick, it's just gross. Um, or to go pick up your boxes and then find out that you have to leave the store with nothing because they basically gave you crap. So again, it's an in, on an individual store basis, I believe. Um, I'm not one to really complain, so I don't know if I'm going to contact Flash Food. I may at some point. Um, but right now I'm going to, if I do get it again, which I probably will, I'm just going to have to be more diligent. I'm going to get it only from one store, which is right near my house, which I know has very good produce. So the produce that they put in those boxes, there's really nothing wrong with. Um, and that's about it. So I am going to be spending some more time researching, um, if there's any other uh, ways to get some discounted produce besides the discount racks. Um, and hopefully I'll have some ideas to report back. So I am going to spend a little time today doing some research on any resources where we could get um, discounted produce that is of good quality and healthy. So that's it, folks. I hope that you like the video. I'm sorry if it's not what you expected, but I think it was very important for me to make this video and retract some of the experiences that I've had. Um, I did have good experiences in the beginning, and then as time went on, they just got a little bit worse. So now I'm going to narrow it down and 
figure out if it's just a, on a store by store basis or if it is a widespread problem with flash food in general. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And like I said, introduce yourself, let me know where you're from, and if you'd like to join our community, feel free to tap that icon bell. We would love to have you as our community is expanding, um, the, the channel's really growing, and I am thrilled. I'd love to have you be part of it. And all I'm going to say is I hope you have a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing, find something to be grateful for. God bless and keep on prepping.